sure don't want your vacation going viral like the people who pulled up to the Half Moon Cruise Terminal. We've seen this story play out too many times, but not here. The passengers on the Balmoral got sick as the ship was headed from Southampton, England to Bermuda. So they skipped that part of the trip and are headed toward the U.S. It's been parked at the cruise terminal since last night. Some of the people on board were able to get off and stretch their legs. Needless to say, they're ready to get moving to their next destination. Ten of your sides, Aaron Kelly now with the latest on how passengers are doing tonight. Aaron. Well, we know that those passengers had an extra day to spend in Norfolk. They were scheduled to come here. This was part of the Old England to New England cruise, and we had a chance to talk to some of them about what the past couple of days have been like. Passengers aboard the Balmoral got off to spend time in Norfolk Friday after a norovirus outbreak that sickened nearly 160 people during the cruise. The ship left England nearly two weeks ago and had been at sea eight days before docking along the Elizabeth River because it had to skip a port call. The unfortunate part about it was they wouldn't let us dock in Bermuda, so we've been at sea. Yeah. which is not good. As of Friday, only seven of more than 1,400 people aboard remained under quarantine. They are being um, in their cabin for uh, 48 hours uh, after the last symptoms to make sure they are uh, healthy. Mary Barnes had been sick last week but recovered in a few days. The crew has increased cleaning and disinfecting aboard the ship. They do a lot of sanitization with chlorine, also steam cleaning and high pressure cleaning. We are, uh, have been in frequent communication with the CDC all the time. They have been fully informed about everything that's been uh, going on on board and we have cooperated very well with them. And in the next half hour, the ship will leave Norfolk and it will head to Baltimore. And when it gets there, CDC officials will board the ship and they will assess the situation there. Live along the Elizabeth River tonight, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.